Have you ever wondered about mythical creatures that live on an animal reserve? Dorn St. John, who came up with the Membar, Rainbow's End, came up with the Animal Healer series. The Legend of the White Giraffe is a very meaningful and emotional book. We begin in London at night when a girl named Marantine's life changed forever. She wakes up to a burning house and escapes, but her parents never make it out. Though that's not the worst part, it happened to be her birthday. It was decided that she'd go to live with her grandmother in Africa, though she never even knew she even had one. While in Africa, Martin is told she has a gift with animals. She hears of a mythical creature that supposedly lives on the game reserve that her grandmother is in charge of. Asking about her parents, Marantine is sent to bed early. Then, Marantine has a glimpse of the creature and sneaks out to investigate. She meets the creature face to face when the white giraffe saves her from a poisonous snake. A goose that gets hurt from tormenting students gets somehow revived by Marantine's healing hand. Then she realizes she does have a gift with animals. Marantine sees poultry trying to catch, sell, and even kill the white giraffe. She tells the giraffe to run, but she winds up riding the creature instead and escapes the poultures. Safe from harm, Marantine is taken to a spiritual cave by the white giraffe, and she sees a legend in cave painting. The child who rides the right giraffe will have power over all animals. I would rate this book 4 out of 5 stars because it had a very good message. Always be prepared for what is to come. It was very touching and meaningful. The characters in the story had very important roles, like when Marantine healed that hurt goose with her healing hands. That was amazing.